I wanted to quickly show you how to access your Wix um, store's shipping settings. Um, currently, we're looking at the shipping panel um, in the dashboard of the Wix stores. To get there, let's close out of this and I'll show you how to get into that. Um, this is our store page. If I click on this and click, if I double click on it even, um, either way, or you can click on settings, then click down here on manage, then click on manage store. This will open up your Wix stores dashboard, and this is where all your things like um, your shipping and taxes are set up, as well as your store orders. You can also edit products here. Um, settings is where we want to go to get into the shipping and taxes for the store. So now we can click here on store shipping, and now we're looking at um, the one I have set up currently for you. We have it set up only to ship to United States. You can always add international and set that up separately if you'd like down the road. Click here on edit and this will bring us into um, all the options for the shipping. Uh, again, we have rate by weight um, selected, but there are th other options as well. Be wary of changing these because if you do, it'll clear out anything that's set up already in this. So switching to a different one will just kind of default it back to, to a blank and then you have to re-enter the stuff. Um, there's free shipping. There's a flat rate, which would apply to anything they order. Um, a rate by price. Uh, so you can say, well, over this amount is free, or you could say between this amount and this amount is this much. Um, then there's also the USPS calculator rate, which works with USPS um, first class mail, priority, and priority express. It does not have ground as an option. Um, there's also store pickup only. You can also add store pickup pick up to any of these um, items. We're going to leave it at the rate by weight because I think that's what we wanted to set up. Um, so I've entered in your USPS ground shipping name here. Um, I put in the estimated delivery time, uh, and then I've set it up so that up to four pounds is $15.95. Actually, I should say up to nine pounds is um, $25.95. So if they order two, then it's $25.95. I've also added an additional range so that if they order over two of them, there's going to be a rate applied. We could put 75, 100 here, and hopefully prompt them um, because you do have that messaging to contact you for larger orders. Um, but this would be one way to kind of maybe prevent people from ordering them. You can put in any number here, or you can just keep having the range go up here as well. So, um, you know, you could do nine pounds to, you know, so that three is this much, four is this much, five is this much, and go as long as you'd like. Um, and then hopefully they might reach out to you if they're ordering large quantities. Um, you can also have a free option. So if they order, you know, 10 of them, they get free delivery. Um, and you can also allow for the store pickup down here. And there's also a handling fee if you wanted to add something like that. Um, allow store pickup allows me to put in all this information, where it would be picked up, and then also when it will be picked up. You can put that information here. Um, so feel free to come in here and edit this. When you're done editing, make sure to hit save here or save up here. That'll apply that to the store. So again, this is located under sh store shipping in the dashboard under settings of, of your store. Um, so now I'm coming back in here. I can actually go in here now and play around with this. This is the shopping cart page where you do have all your disclaimers here, which um, prompt people to reach out to you for other types of orders. So I have 11 in here. Um, and it's uh, only charging me $50 because that was the limit I had. But uh, we can't limit how many they have in Wix, unfortunately. Um, but you could price it accordingly so that somebody might feel the need to prompt to reach out if they're ordering three or more items and they don't want to pay the high price of shipping. So um, anyway, so this is now charging. So if I have one item in my cart, it's $15.95. If I have two, it's $25.95. If I have anything more than that, it charges $50, um, which you can go in there and set that up um, differently. So that's the training for this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Again, to get into it, just double click on your store, um, come into Manage, Manage Store. That'll get you into your dashboard area where you can access settings and then come here to Store Shipping.